Hey, this is Jeff, and you're probably wondering where I am and why I'm naked. Well, besides being kind of notorious for that, I made this setup for time trials to determine what factors actually affect your run speed in Fallout 3. Allow me to demonstrate. It's a 50-yard course. I just hit the auto run key, and then I'm keeping my hands off the keyboard and mouse. And there you go, 9.5 seconds. Google tells me the world record in the 50-yard dash is 5.2 seconds, and a decent time for healthy middle schoolers is 7 or 8 seconds, so 10 seconds with a running start sounds about right for me. <laughs> Let me show you around. The cameras here are just window dressing. They don't really do anything except show you where the timed section of the course is. I don't know if I can record footage in the construction kit, but if not, I'll just show you a screenshot. There's a trigger zone that covers the area between the rails east to west and between the cameras north to south. There's an extremely simple script attached to the trigger zone that starts a timer when the player enters it and pops up a message box with the elapsed time when the player exits it. I did it that way to eliminate the measurement error that I'd have if I was trying to play the game with one hand and click a stopwatch with the other. That door connects to the vanilla world space so I can get in and out, and over here I have containers with various items to test different scenarios. I already tested this a bit to make sure my timer was working correctly, and what I found shocked me. Some of it will probably surprise you too, because empirical testing directly contradicts some things that I've read online about the player's movement speed. This locker contains 17 fission batteries, which weigh exactly enough to reach my maximum carry capacity. And I also set up a little batch file that I can invoke from the console. It just sets my starting position and angle, so every run is exactly the same, controlling for more variables. Now, I've read that the less weight you're carrying, the faster you run, and that would make perfect sense, but get ready to have your mind blown. Nine point five seconds. <laughs> My recording software caps the game's frame rate at thirty FPS, so the timer is accurate to about three one hundredths of a second. When I'm not recording, I get about sixty frames per second, which doubles the accuracy. So I'm going to do each of these tests ten times off screen and use the average for the final result. But bottom line, the time is the same whether I'm carrying my max load or zero. What you have in your inventory makes no difference to your run speed. Now let me put some pants on. <laughs> Grab my old vault jumpsuit. Put the fission batteries back in here. As you can see, <laughs> that one weight jumpsuit put me over the encumbrance limit. The most sources say the weight of your armor modifies your run speed. The vault suit only weighs one, so I'd expect my speed to be very slightly slower if the difference is measurable at all. 9.53 seconds. Now I'll grab a set of power armor, the heaviest armor in the game. But I'm not going to put it on. We've already seen that the weight of the items you're carrying doesn't affect your run speed, so if I have it in my inventory but not equipped, my time should be the same. 9.53 seconds. Uh, like I say, I'll repeat all these tests off screen and give you the average at the end, just in case there is any um, slight difference between runs because of the resolution of the timer versus the frame rate. Now, let me equip the power armor. Same two items in my inventory, but instead of wearing the vault suit and carrying the power armor, I'm wearing the power armor and carrying the vault suit. Ten point four four seconds. So that confirms the weight of the armor you're wearing definitely has a big impact on your run speed, but the weight of any armor you're just carrying doesn't. And I just thought of something. What about hats? Do hats affect it? Um, hold on. I need to go grab some hats. The power helmet looks wonderful with the vault suit, but it's the heaviest headgear in the game at five pounds, so it'll make the most difference in my speed. 
if headgear affects speed at all. Uh, no command history because I restarted the game. Actually, I have to type. Put the vault suit back on just because I can run the course faster in it than in the power armor. No reason to make this any more painful than it already is. 9.59 seconds, definitely slower than the vault suit alone, so headgear does affect your run speed. Okay, the next factor to test is weapons. Everybody knows you run faster with your weapons holstered, it even says so in one of the loading screens. And it's true that you run faster with your weapon holstered than when you have it out. Let's grab something with medium weight. Chinese assault rifle, 7 pounds, that'll work. And don't forget to take off the helmet and equip the assault rifle. I really don't need to time running with a weapon out because when you are and you holster it, you can see yourself speed up, but I'll go ahead and time it for science. 10.67. So running with a weapon out actually slows you down more than wearing power armor. So now let's try that with the weapon holstered. Yeah, I mean, you could see how much I sped up right there. There's something weird going on with the texture on my assault rifle. Not sure what's up with that. 9.67. A full second faster than when I had it out. So, yeah, that part is obviously true. But that's still more than a tenth of a second slower than when I had the vault suit on and no weapons. So having your weapon holster does slow you down, just not nearly as much as having it out. And that begs the question, does the weight of the weapon matter? Well, let's grab a fat man, the heaviest weapon in the game, and find out. 10.14. Yep, the weight of a holstered weapon definitely matters. So if the best case scenario is naked with no weapon or armor equipped, the worst case is wearing the heaviest armor, heaviest helmet, and the heaviest weapon. 11.31. Actually, the worst case would be running with it out. Which, I mean, no, well... Yeah, why not? Science! Oh, yeah. That is painfully slow. I could read War and Peace in the time it's going to take. 13.34. So, yeah, you do not want to be doing that if you're in a hurry. Counterintuitively, if you wear power armor and use heavy weapons, it's not the end of the world if you run into a situation where time is of the essence. Just go into your inventory and unequip everything, and you'll run just as fast as if you were in your birthday suit carrying nothing at all. Let's put this stuff away and test one last thing I thought was true but isn't. For some reason, I always thought your agility attribute modified your run speed. You can see mine is 7. I don't know if I read it online or if I was thinking of a different game, but I mentioned it in a couple previous videos, and I have to apologize because I was wrong. I'm going to use a console command to boost my agility to 10 and do a run. Make sure that really worked. Yep. So had I been right, this would be you know, some percentage faster. 9.55, which is actually slower than my last run in just the vault suit, but well within the timer's margin of error at 30 frames a second. So we'll go back to the start, bring up the console again, and lower my agility to 1. Yep, that worked. And when we get down to the other end, we will see that indeed I was mistaken. 9.53, exactly the same as when my agility was 7 and 2 hundredths faster than when it was 10. 
which is why I want to use the average of multiple measurements for the final analysis. Okay, I'm going to go collect a lot more data, crunch some numbers, and see you back here when I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and based on what we've seen already, there really weren't any surprises. I tested about 20 outfits and 20 weapons with a wide range of weights, put the data in a spreadsheet, and made some graphs. All the data points are actually averages of multiple runs, so yeah, this took a while. As you can see, the effect of the armor you're wearing has a nice linear relationship to your run speed. I didn't reverse engineer the exact formula, but unless you're planning to host the Machinim Olympics, it's probably enough to know that if you're running from place to place, wearing 20-pound armor will add twice as much to the time of the trip as 10-pound armor. And speaking of 10-pound armor, Almost all Wasteland clothes and pre-war outfits weigh two, like this clean pre-war relaxed wear. But this dirty pre-war relaxed wear weighs five. And a clean pre-war park stroller outfit weighs two, but this dirty pre-war park stroller outfit weighs ten. <laughs> now, that's a lot of dirt. Anyway, it was pretty much the same deal with holstered weapons. And the interesting thing was that the effect of weapon weight on speed was identical to the effect of armor weight. That is, a 20-pound holstered weapon slows you down by exactly the same amount as wearing a 20-pound outfit. I didn't do exhaustive testing with weapons drawn, because there's not much to prove there. It's painfully obvious when you play that running with a weapon drawn massively slows you down. I did do one test because I knew running with a pistol drawn is faster than running with a two-handed weapon drawn. I don't know if that's from a loading screen or the strategy guide or where, but it's definitely true. I tested a 32 pistol versus a BB gun because they both weigh two pounds, so it's apples to apples. As you can see here, if they're holstered, they have exactly the same effect on your run speed. But if they're drawn, the 32 slows you down by a little more than a tenth of a second, while the BB gun slows you down by a full second. And finally, I tested wearing armor and having a holstered weapon at the same time. There are obviously a huge number of combinations, and I only tested a few, but enough to be pretty sure the effect is purely additive. Uh, for example, if you're unarmed and wearing a 10-pound dirty park stroller outfit, it adds about two-tenths of a second to the 50-yard dash time compared to being nude and unarmed. If you're nude with a holstered 10-pound sniper rifle, that also adds about two-tenths of a second. If you have the dirty park stroller outfit and a sniper rifle for a total of 20 pounds equipped, it adds about four-tenths of a second, which unsurprisingly is the same as if you're nude with a 20-pound missile launcher or unarmed wearing 20-pound Rivet City security armor. But... As we saw earlier, if those items are in your inventory but unequipped, they have no effect at all as long as you stay under your encumbrance limit. Oh, and I found one more thing that doesn't have any impact on your run speed. It's actually kind of funny. Um, about halfway through testing, the well-rested bonus wore off from the last time I slept, and I really thought it was making me run slower. But it was all in my head. I did another set of tests, well-rested versus not well-rested, and it actually doesn't make any difference at all to your run speed. Well, that's about it. I put up a poll last week um, to see what people would want to see next on the channel. Last I checked, it was something. I don't remember. Whatever it was, that's what we'll do next. <laughs> I'll see you soon.